Welcome to our headquarters here in Copenhagen. This is where we develop and produce the cameras you see all over the world where games are played. This is where we build the future of technology for grassroots sports. Today, we're going to present new tools for coaches and players to level up their game. These techniques have previously only been possible for professional teams, and now we're bringing them to you. Today, we're taking your video analysis to the next level. We're releasing features that will help you become a better coach, develop better players and teams, and hopefully win more games. And it starts with an improved stats overview. In your new overview, we've added possession. In other words, how much your team had the ball during the game. It's calculated by looking at passes and dribbles, and it doesn't include moments where the ball's out of play or when it's being contested by two players. We show possession in both percentage and time. We've also added the number of passes completed and possession one, which we define as the number of times a team regained possession of the ball in open play. With our new feature, you can help your team understand how good they are at moving the ball around. We call it pass strings. A pass string is the number of passes that are put together before the ball is lost. It could be broken up by a bad pass, the ball's going out of bounds, or even if you score a goal. Now we put these strings together to give you an indication of your passing ability. It's powered by AI, so it all happens automatically when you upload your game. Shot maps are another addition to the game data. Once the video is uploaded, you automatically get a visual representation of the shots you had during the game. The map shows where shots were taken from for each team and which of them hit the back of the net. The map is interactive, making it easier than ever to watch and analyze the goals, the shots, and the build-up play. With our new pass location map, you can help your team understand its passing capability. It breaks down the passes and shows you where your team is primarily passing. And it all happens automatically when your game is uploaded. We have divided the pitch into thirds, defensive, middle, and attacking. This will give you an extra depth to both the possession stats that Alex was talking about and the pass strings that I mentioned before. This spring, we are releasing a completely new universe to help you track all your data. We'll call it the Analytics Studio. In the Analytics Studio, you can select your key metrics. You can then see those metrics displayed across a progression chart. Let's say you have a goal of improving your team's possession. You can now automatically generate a chart showing the progression of your team's possession over a number of games. So no need for Excel sheets and handwritten notes. With game maps, you can uncover trends in shooting, passing, and movement. It uses the shot and pass location maps that Gaia and Alex presented. For each game map, you can now see the total data from all the games in your library. If you look at the shot maps, it's now all the shots from the season, not just from one game. This means that you can now spot tendencies over time. With the comparison radial, you can now compare metrics between the teams within your club. With this diamond shape, you can now see the different teams perform on parameters you choose. The last feature I'll show you today is the form guide. When you've selected your key metrics in the analytics studio, you can also see them in the analytics menu of the recording. It looks like this. In the same menu, you can see your previous match results, which gives you a quick insight into your team's performance from game to game. Thanks for being with us today. We're excited about what we've made, and we're even more excited for you to try it out. There's a lot more coming from us at VEO, and we can't wait to put these amazing innovations in your hands.